Hey guys, Majefferies here, and welcome back to Cities in Motion 2. Uh, in the last episode, we did a few uh, vehicular, vehicular, vehicular. We changed the vehicles. Um, we got some bigger vehicles for both the bus route and the trolley route. And you remember that I only got 10 trolleys, uh, for, or trolley buses for the trolley route. Uh, I've now increased that to 20, as you can see. Um, and they actually look quite nice going around. You can see on the list here, they're filling up quite nicely. This one, 32 out of 35, 21 out of 35. Passengers are unhappy. That's not brilliant. Um, so that's that problem solved. And we also did the buses, and I think that problem... Well, there isn't a problem with that one. So the next one up is trams. Uh, so let's remind ourselves of what type of tram we've got. We've got the Livingston SC, which is, of course, this one. And you can see it's quite nice looking, quite sleek, but I want to replace it, I think, with the Scandi Tram Master. Um, or the Livingston Classic. Maybe even the Nuova. Oh, I had this dilemma before, didn't I? A couple of episodes ago. I think the, the Nuovo, maybe. We get nine more passengers on board. It doesn't cost that much. Well, it costs a little bit extra to run. It's the same price. I'm going to do that. The Nuovo. I'm going to buy however many of the Nuovos. Because we currently have 20 trams. So let's do that. I also took out a bank loan, by the way. So uh, our profit. It's going to rise up again, but for now it's dropped right down. I made sure that I could afford it, though. I wasn't going to be stupid. But as you can see, I'm going to sell every single tram that we own. Like so. And I'm going to replace them all with the Nuovos, which is that one. Um, and I'm going to get probably the same again. So was it? I had 20. I'm going to buy 25, just to make sure. So I'm spending £30,000 just on trams. Hopefully, that isn't um, a red herring or a white elephant. Hopefully those trams will actually get us more money. Uh, trolley wise we're doing okay if I come back over to the hub these are what the new trolleys look like see they're quite nice looking um, buses was like uh, I don't know I'm gonna take another look at buses because we've currently got uh, this one the Maurice Automat Automaton Automaton um, do I want to get the double deckers I don't think I do what I do need to do though is buy some more of these ones so I could buy another 10 of these. You can see that's dropped our money right the way down to 14,000. But they actually look quite nice driving around. And we've got an interesting uh, mishmash of colours going on here now. Because the, the monorails are sort of a reddy orange colour. Um, and then the trams are like a dark red, I think. And the trolleys are also dark red. And then the buses are like this dark grey colour, but with the red stripe down the side. So we've got an interesting combination going on here. Um, and actually, the last thing I want to do... Well, I say the last thing. It's not the last thing. Something else I want to do in this episode is a bit of um, logistic problem solving. You see here, we've got this track that goes back towards the depot. What I want to do is put a fork coming off here. Build it to there. And then loop it round like this. and then connect it back up again. But the way I'm going to do it is build that to there like so. Um, actually, I'm going to make this wider. So we're going to have that go to there. And then, actually no, sorry. We're going to have it go to there. And then we're going to loop it up to here. And then we're going to swing it round to there. And then build that like that. And we're going to complete that. So we're losing a few buildings again. But hopefully this is worth it. It's a bit experimental. Like I said, we'll see. Um, do I complete it here or do I complete it a bit further down? I think... Oh, I don't know. That's a bit too sharp. So I think there. There. Like that. Uh, and I can't build anything. Oh, I can build off there. Oh, I might do that then. Um, let's build something going off like that. And then we'll delete that bit and we'll delete 
that bit and we'll try and have that join there we go that's pretty good right and you might be sitting there thinking what's he done that for well I wanted to experiment with something this loop is probably going to stay here regardless of whether this experiment works or not it's interesting the way the line goes through the tree there um, it's to make this st stop here more active let's say so I'm going to go into lines and I'm going to bring up tangerine line um, and I'm going to go into stops in fact I'm going to stop the line first wait for this train to go through because it's going to empty out like that uh, and now I'm going to stop the line um, and what I'm going to do is go into stops like this and you can see that the final stop is this one here and then it goes back into the depot what I'm going to do instead is remove the depot add this stop again as its final stop and then have it go back to the depot and what should then happen is it swoops around the loop, it stops here, it empty slash fills up again um, and if it fills up again it'll go off and do another loop of the track and if it doesn't fill up again it'll just have to go down to the uh, the exchange loop which is in this you know over there uh, and then it'll come round and then it'll come back into the depot that is the plan uh, so if I open this line up again it should do that the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same with the nectarine line so I'm going to stop the nectarine line I'm going to go, oops, that's a timetable, don't want to do that one. I'm going to go down to here, I'm going to delete the depot. I'm going to go into this, I'm going to make P1 the final stop, and then I'm going to send it back to the depot again. And again, the same same thing will happen. Uh, and we'll see if that makes a difference. And another thing I'm going to do in this episode, oh, these are the new trams, by the way. Don't you think they look nice? That looks really nice. You see how they come around the corner? They look a lot better than when they're one single unit. They look a bit more uh, fluid going around those corners. There's not that many passengers waiting here right now, but I think the uh, the monorail closing down might be something to do with that while it's uh, redone. Got 30 passengers waiting at this stop, though, so that's this one already at its normal operating capacity before it's even uh, started going around the loop. So that's that's quite good. Um... Yeah, I was going to separate the tram line and the trolley line, and there's two ways I can do it. I can either move the, tr the uh, tram line over one, because remember I said about the problem before, uh, or the other thing I can do is make this a three-lane road. But I'm probably not going to do that option because you'll end up with a bus just running on its own in one lane, and a trolley running in another lane, and then a tram and a bus running in the third lane. So I think I'm just going to move the tram line. I'll show you guys what I mean. So you can see that where the trolley wires are and you can see where the tram tracks are. If I go into delete, I can delete the whole road, I can delete the tram line, but I can't delete the trolley wires. It just won't let me select the trolley wires. So the only thing I can do is to build the tram line over. So I'm actually going to do that now. So we'll start it over... Where is it? Over here. The only issue then you have is this swap over going on. I can't do it at this end either, can I? No, it just won't let me do it. So the only thing I can do then is delete the road, but that's just too consuming, time consuming. So I'm going to have to do this weird swap over thing. So we'll have the tram go to there, and then it comes out from over here. And we have one that comes up this way, and we have one that comes over here. And then we have a third one that goes into this main bit here, and then we delete the track from that section. And that's the tram now split up from the trolley. And again, there's another little crossover here, but again, because you're at the lights, um, I mean, that could actually end up being a bit of a problem. Might end up swapping the trolley with the tram on that side as well. Just so, because when this light goes green, one of these is going to have to go and the other one isn't, and it could end up with one not getting through that set of lights because of that. Um, which can end up being a problem. Uh, right, looking at this now, that is currently empty, this station, and so is this one, which means a tangerine line train has probably just gone through. This one's got 12, so I don't know where the nectarine line train is. 
They are both open, aren't they? Yeah, they're both open. Both doing their thing. It might just be a case of uh, one fills up quicker than the other. Money-wise, we're starting to make a profit again, which is good. Um, one thing they could bring into this game, actually, is double-deck trams. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Uh, it would certainly be interesting to, to watch them go around. I mean, they've done it with trolleys now, so I don't see why they can't do it with trams. Um, but then, I guess that might be something coming up soon. There you go, we've got one passenger on the nectarine line waiting at this stop. So the train will come in, fill up, loop round, and then stop here. Where either that passenger will get off, but I think all passengers have to get off anyway, and then it reloads. So uh, we'll see We'll see what goes on there. I don't know what condition the trains are when they arrive. It could end up being that they all go up to the end loop round and come back anyway. In which case, I will probably end up building a new loop in this section here to avoid that happening. Because there is another station between here and that loop, so it could cause a couple of logistical issues with trains getting caught behind other trains that are stopping and things like that. So... Uh, Let's uh, speed up time a little bit and wait for a, a monorail train to come in. And we'll see what it does. Is that one I can hear coming? Maybe not. I might just be hearing things. Is there one coming? Oh, there's one there. There's an Ectreen line train there. See, it's 92% condition. So you can end up getting a few loops out of that one before it needs to go back. In fact, let's follow this train. And see what, what it does. I still like the way this monorail line snakes its way through the buildings and I like the fact that it is completely different so you've got one line that snakes between the freeway picking up passengers that way and then you've got this one that snakes its way between the buildings you've got two completely different types of line both very very popular by the looks of it picking up lots of passengers making a lot of money for me um, and you can see how the traffic has, has increased on the, uh, the freeway at the side and that would be buses or trams caught in that um, if I hadn't have built the monorail system. So uh, it was definitely worth doing. Um, so yeah, let's, let's watch this train here. So it'll stop at this stop and it'll drop off passengers and pick passengers up. Uh, and then it will head over to the last stop on the line. And what it should do is loop round, drop passengers off, pick passengers up again and then head off on its next journey. That's what it should do. Um, you might end up with a timetabling issue. Again, I think I discussed this in a previous episode where you have one train uh, leaving the depot expecting to go on its loop and then you've got another train that's already done its loop and it's waiting to pick passengers up again and they end up one stuck behind the other. Um, I'm hoping that that, that won't happen. Uh, if that does happen, I will be more than a little bit annoyed because I don't want that to happen at all. As you can see it loops up here and round. Still got 10 passengers on board, you might have seen. It's almost worth putting a stop on that curve, actually. See what happens then. If we end up picking up more passengers there, it's another way of uh, linking the city up. Which is quite clever. I s well, sort of clever. Right, so these 10 passengers, they all should get off. Which they've done. Right, this train's leaving. Does that mean it's going back to the depot? I think this one's going back to the depot, which is annoying considering it's 88% condition. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know why it can't just carry on with its loop. This one as well, 87%, and yet that one's probably going to loop round and go back to the depot. Um, if that ends up happening, then it'll be a, a case of abandoned ship uh, and delete this loop. In fact, I'm just going to do that, actually. It was a stupid idea. It was a stupid idea. So uh, we'll close the line. Let's do the tangerine line first. We'll close the line. We'll get rid of that stop. And then we'll reopen the line. And the same with this one. We will close the line. We'll go into stops. We'll take off that stop. And then we'll reopen the line. But I am going to keep this track here. And you guys will see why in a minute. I have a plan. And it's a it's another little monorail line. Um, it won't run very frequently, but when it does, it should be a roaring success. Uh, I've just seen this tram drop off 46 passengers as well, which is very nice. Uh, and this... Look at that. Bus is quite popular as well. 32 passengers. 
So this hub is definitely starting to work properly. I know it looked a bit OTT when I first started this series because um, we had two bus lines and then eventually it became two trolley lines but they were all running from this really really big sort of interchange area and it, it they looked dwarfed because there was just there was there was nothing going on so it looks a bit strange um that's now being cancelled out I hope with the whole monorail interchange and the trams and the trolleys and the two bus lines and everything is now got two of until that now because I'm going to build actually let's build the stop first so I said about building a, another monorail stop so let's do that we'll build it up on this corner like I said like that um, and this could end up being a bit of a logistical nightmare might end up having to build but I'm going to do it another loop so it will come off here to there and then it will go uh, got to make sure I get this at the right height because it, oh, it will just do that that's cool then we'll do it like that and then we will build this stop level with oh, let's, yeah let's do it level with this one so it goes onto the road underneath like so doesn't that look good now nice big interchange going on and actually I'm going to use this stop for something else as well so the nectarine, nectarine line leaves this stop and it's going to arrive back on this line so let's do that uh, we're going to close the line again we're going to go into this, we're going to delete that last stop, we're going to delete that last stop we're going to make it stop here and then we're going to make it stop there and that's that line nicely rebuilt and then we're going to rename this stop so this is P3 so this one is going to be MCH monorail P4 that's not what I wanted to do that's what I wanted to do it helps if you let go of shift at the right time doesn't it right so this line should that passenger should disappear hopefully although this stop is going to get reused so um, it will become different right I need to think of another I think I've got one again apologies for my spelling I don't think that is how you spell Satsuma hang on let me think of another one nectarine tangerine I'm not going to call it orange because it is an orange color I'm just going to say that's how you spell Satsuma Satsuma line um, and it's going to be timetabled the same as the other monorail lines so that one's copy 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 like that um, and now it's going to have the stops put in so there we're going to have it stop at P uh, P2 think no 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 let's do p1 i'm hoping that this could be used as some storage space so that trains can still access p2 that's what i'm hoping for uh and then we'll have it stop here so that there's not a clog uh and then it'll stop this stop and then instead of going off on a loop it's going to come back towards the depot and it's going to stop at this stop here and then it's going to go to the back here and then it's going to stop back at P1 and then it's going to go back to the depot and hopefully this one does what I wanted the previous one to do and that is it will stop here, it will unload, it will reload and then it will head off again hopefully that's what happens hopefully hopefully now I'm thinking about it now I'm thinking about it and you guys are probably going to be annoyed at me for doing this but I am going to set the other two to do the same and again hope that it does what it's supposed to do so this one was P1 wasn't it like that and then back to depot uh, we'll reopen that and we'll hide that and then this one is um, P2 wasn't it yeah there P2 and then back to depot 
like that. And I, I just hope this works because if it does work and if you get a successful system out of it, it means we can run less trains at any given time. We can just r run the same train over and over around the loop and it, that ends up saving on energy costs and things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this running between this episode and the next episode um, and then I'll report to you guys in the next episode as to whether it was successful or not. So uh, that brings this episode to a close guys so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to click the subscribe button. Um, if you have subscribed to my channel thank you guys for your continued su support. Excuse me. Uh, and until next time, I will see you soon. Thank you.